this is Elle's coming to you from Bemo's Crafty Corner and today I want to share this with you. This is my swap tracker. I designed this myself and um, there will be a link to it uh, at the bottom. And what this is basically is uh, tells me what group I'm swapping with and then what type of swap is it. Is it an artist trading card, a pocket letter, a puzzle piece, is it an altered bag, a journal, some kind of uh, item in my mystery game. When did I send or what did I send and what did I receive or is it an other? This one happens to be for bookmarks. It's an open theme. I have to make two bookmarks, two by seven or three by seven inches and they are assigning the partners um, on 514. I leave a section here if I put any goodies or extras into it um, for like pocket letters and things and then the day that I mail it I write down the date here and then I write down the date that I receive it my partner's name and their address I put this once I've completed the item and I've sent it into this book and in this book I can't show you the names but this is the other swap tracker that I use um, in here, I will keep this until this swap comes in. When this swap comes in, then I will photograph it, put it in my log, photograph anything that comes with it, including the packaging. I list that in a file under the sender's name, and I swap with my partners pretty regular, so uh, my regular swap partners have a file of their own. And then I post it to whatever site, whatever group site, uh, that particular swap was from. So this one is bookmarks. And uh, again, as I said, I'll put the swap tracker, uh, the form that I use, down uh, in the, the links. And the other one uh, is the yellow. And I print this on a different piece of paper because... Um, This is the one I use for the game. If this is a mystery game, then I use a yellow one so that I know I'm not making anything for this. Right now, I'm waiting for the item to come in so that I can mark what was received. So I do that on a separate sheet. Okay. So, this one says bookmarks, and it's due by the 14th. So, I have cut me some paper. And this is Recollections 110 cardstock. And I have some Fisker's Punches here. And I want to... It took me a long time when I started doing this to figure this out. I would take my piece of paper and put it in here. And then I would punch it. And then I would line up all my circles. And I would punch it. And then I'd go the other way. And I'd line up all my circles. And I'd punch it. And inevitably, it would look like that. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> it's a mistake. And so I ended up wasting a lot of paper doing that. So then, I saw this. And it was a revelation. I was watching uh, May May one day from May May Made It. And May May turns her punches upside down. And then she puts her paper in. And we'll do this on the long end. She puts her paper in and she punches it. Then, instead of lining it up on the front, she actually lines up all the holes inside. Making sure that everything is lined up perfectly. And once she has it all lined up, then she pokes it. And it comes out perfect. So she does that all the way to the end. Just lining it up. Just like that. You can see it's all lined up in there. Squeeze. Okay. Alright, now we'll do the other side. So again, she just puts it in. She lines up, holds it where it needs to be, and she punches it. And it comes out 
perfect. Absolutely perfect. Thank you, Maymay. You have no idea how many pieces of paper I wasted in my lifetime trying to get this to work. And then I watched you do it. You didn't even teach it. You just did it. And I watched it. And I said, yes. So. That is my demonstration. So, I have to cut two bookmarks, which I have done. These are seven and a half inches long by roughly four inches wide. And that's to allow for this. So what I'm going to do is actually cut this down. Come here, chomps. <sighs> to three and a half. And then what I want to do is I want to go around. Okay, we're back. Let me get up a little turd here. Get this all cleaned up. Okay. Now we got all that cleaned up. All right. So we've gone all the way around. And nobody is perfect. We all do this at the edge. So... Use our scissors and kind of work this out at the corners. There. There we go. Okay. So now, our bookmark is roughly one, two, about three and a half inches. I can live with that. So I'm just cleaning up these little corners right here. Okay. All right, now. What, pray tell, shall we do with this bookmark? What shall we make it? What shall we? What shall? Hmm. I do not know. Oh, wait. But of course. Let's take a look at some of our pieces. Okay. So I picked these up in a Tuesday morning haul. These are Punch Studio Paper Craft Shapes. Uh, 16 pieces for $2.49. And we have all kinds of lovely bits here. I like the Paris. I really like that. Gorgeous. Paris. Dragonfly. Look at that. Eh, eh. Ooh. Okay. I kind of like these three right off the bat. Hmm. Let's not use that one. Let's do these two and let's use a butterfly. Let's go to the cabinet. Okay. So, someday I'm going to have to show you guys this. We're going to go to bugs. We did bugs. Of course, we'll be looking for butterflies. I don't want these too big. So, let's go with... Yep, we're going to go with these, I think. Let me go in here. Yep. And I like these little guys. So, we're going to cut some of these out. I'm going to leave them on the acetate so I can kind of move them around, figure out the ones I like. That one. 
And I like this one. And I think I kind of like these two as well. Okay, so I'll cut a few of these out. Okay. And the reason I'm going with kind of flat stuff here is because this is actually going to get um, <whistles> laminated. So, I don't know if I want to do these straight. Yeah, I think I kind of do. Hmm. Okay, let me see. Maybe I like this better. Maybe I just kind of like this. Hmm. See, I'm looking at this blue and I like this blue. So... I know what we're going to do. Hold on. Okay. So this is my boxo napkins. And I have a couple of contenders in here for this butterfly. Hmm. got these. So let's take a look. Hmm. Kind of like this. Hmm. That's a possibility. No. Hmm. This is a possibility. Okay. Still not too... I don't know. Kind of like it, but I don't. And I like it because it matches the wing. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Hmm. That is literally like the same design. Hmm. Actually like the green best. Mm, let me look one more time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think he gets lost in there. Let's see what the other butterflies look like. Do, do, do. Up, you little booger. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said booger. Okay. Hmm. You know what? This might be our napkin. This is our napkin. Final decision. Okay. So, we're getting rid of the napkin box. <laughs> Alrighty. So now, let's get rid of these. Put these away. Modge Podge. Loss. In small bowl. Not a lot of Modge Podge. But enough Modge Podge. Okay. Icky Mod Podge brush. Bye bye butterflies. Alright. Now this is that technical taking off approach. Uh, napkin. Tape. Tape up. Napkin. Pull up. 
remove top layer. Goodbye, napkin. Napkin tape. Pull up. Second layer. There we go. Just need an in. Okay. All right. We're gonna pull that all off of there. Just a lack of these. Don't go too fast. Don't want to tear it until you want to tear it. Okay. Now this one doesn't have like that imprint on it, so I'm not really worried. I'm gonna throw that away. And I have the now piece of napkin. And I want to use pieces from the middle. So I'm going to actually fold this up and just kind of tear out the middle. We'll start there. Okay. That was kind of cool. It kind of looked like a butterfly. All right. Mod Podge. Mod Podge. I don't know why Mod Podge has to smell this bad. Yes, I do. Stacy over at Pink Poodle Craft told me, because there's varnish in it. If there wasn't varnish in it, it would just be glue. Now, we don't want to go over our decorative edge. So we will take that off. Do -do. Little Mod Podge there. Little Mod Podge there. Okay, I want more purple, so we'll come in and get a piece of this with the purple on it. Do, do, do. Put in purple. little blue and purple and basically we're just going to mod podge our way down this napkin onto this beautiful okay so the mod podge is dry and I went ahead and did the whole thing so it would all have the same look to it so now we're going to see about putting these on and how we might do that. And I like that one. And I like this one. I kind of like it just like that. So, now, if they have sticky on the back, I never trust them. So, art glitter glue to the rescue. I don't need to put a lot on this because we're going to be laminating this. So, I'm just kind of Get it straight, press it and hold it for a moment. Okay. Same thing with the butterflies. Just a little bit of art glitter glue. I've tried a lot of glues, but the art glitter glue for me has never failed me. dries really quick so you do have to move when you're using it so sorry about the bangs guys that's my computer. I apparently stirred up trouble today. So I'm 
just going to finish gluing these on. Now, because this is going to be laminated, I don't really want to put anything too puffy on it, which is why I'm staying with these very uh, thin butterflies. Because I don't want anything to come off. Okay. So we're going to give them a second to all dry completely. Ooh, close up the glitter glue before it congeals. Let's get rid of some of this cut up acetate. All right, now we have those all on there. Okay, so we're back once again. I've gone ahead and decoupaged the back. And after looking at it, I decided I didn't like this. So I'm going to take it off. I know, I went through all the trouble of putting it on there just to say, I don't like it. But, say lovey. I won't get rid of it though. I'll save it, because you never know. All right, now I want these corners to be more angled. So we have our laminator here. Oops, dropped our bookmark. And we have our laminator sheet, our pocket. Boy, I'm klutzy today. this and I don't want to waste so let me get out my big ones I'm going to use half a pocket okay So to make a long story short, after I decoupaged the back and put this in the sleeve and had it all ready to go, I actually decided I didn't like it at all. <laughs> well, I didn't like the butterflies. And I wanted to use these <clears throat> simply because they were brighter <clears throat> and the green here brought out the green in the flowers and uh, these allowed this to stand out. So I actually changed it up a little bit, used some different uh, butterflies here, and of course I added some ribbon to the top, and this is all nice and laminated. And then I had to make the second one for this project, and I decided to go with this. And what I did here was just took a piece of this pink, kind of glittered paper, and uh, went around it with a pair of scallop scissors. I added this little piece of ribbon bow at the top, and uh, this one I did, it says a book can take you anywhere you can imagine, and this one I did sort of uh, Alice in Wonderland and added these little resin butterflies and dragonflies to it, just to give it a little kick, and I actually went around the edges here with uh, some dark walnut stain so that I could kind of give it a little ethereal glow. So those are the two tags that I will be using for one of the swap partners, um, or the other, who knows, but uh, certainly each person will be getting two of them, and I do have two swap partners. So, that is my project. Now at this point, what I will do is put them in the envelope with the tracker, and then this goes over on my wall, 
so that I know I have to get this out. Anyway, thanks for being with me. Um, subscribe, ring my bell, share me. Uh, let's see, what else? Like me, please like me. Um, <laughs> Now seriously, like tell your friends and let's get some more subscribers going here. And the more subscribers we get, uh, the faster we get to the 100 mark. We get to the 100 mark, then I can start giving stuff away. And I have way too much stuff. So, um, if you enjoyed the show today, thank you so much. I know this one's a little long. Uh, if it's not, you know, if, it, if you didn't like it, uh, thanks for stopping by. And uh, I will... See you, maybe, the next time. Bye-bye.